Hi, I'm B, and I'm T, and we are T and B Talk Book. Talk book. Today we're going to talk about Jonathan Goldstein. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the Bible. Bible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love this title so much, and I actually love Jonathan Goldstein a lot. Yeah, a lot. Like, sorry, a little bit of a crush going on. I'm telling you. We also, we also have, have a crush on Heather O'Neill, so that's okay because lullabies. So lullabies for little little criminals. Uh, Heather O'Neill's uh, last book was lovely book, beautiful. But yeah. we're here to talk about Jonathan. And um, one thing I have to say about Jonathan is that the only reason I know about Jonathan. Well, about <laughs> both because oh, okay. I discovered Jonathan Goldstein on Wiretap on TBC and. Um, was very much smitten from the very beginning because <laughs> there's really nothing like that on CBC. No. So it's quite refreshing and it's very nostalgic for me because it just totally just reminds me of Montreal right away. Oh, yeah. No, it totally is like, home. oh, you know, <laughs> it's so, so, nice. so awesome. And even though he doesn't really talk about Montreal per no. se, but it's just, and I, I guess that feel. sensibility. Is I'm going to disappear on the camera for a second and grab. No, to put here. I don't have notes. I'm just gonna go off. Gosh, I'm so Jonathan. Um, and also, so the first time I heard one of these stories was on War Um It was See, the me it was This American Life, which is the same thing. Yeah. This American Life girl. I'm a TBC girl, so it's just. I'm I don't all the to each both. other. Exactly. <laughs> okay, you can be both. Thank you. Um, so, and I heard David and Goliath. I think that was the first story I heard. And. Um, Laughed and laughed and laughed. Oh, because, yeah. I mean, Jonathan Goldstein's delivery is. He's very deadpan. I like that. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a little bit harder to read the book, although I can imagine his voice telling me the story. So that works out well for me. Yeah. I like Samson and Samson and Delilah. I thought it was really nice. Even in the Adam and Eve sort of Garden yes. of Eden thing, yes. it's so nice to hear Bible stories. It is, yes. I know, weird. The women aren't like the bad guys. No, and they're that actually lovely. super smart. <laughs> exactly. And way smarter than men, and like, and just kind of like more common sense and just nicer, it's you know? Big, and that's not religion. Although. <laughs> I come away from the story hating myself. That's <laughs> right, that's weird. How'd that happen? The thing I liked about it is it felt like home when I was reading it. For me, for different reasons. You, because it reminds me of Montreal. Mm -hmm. For me, it was because I could picture, you know, Sunday night on my grandparents' farm, all of the aunts and uncles and my grandparents, everybody talking about politics and the Bible and Bible stories and all <laughs> that. It just made me nostalgic for the like, CC. And yeah, the good old days. You know, yeah. watch Hockey Night in Canada and <laughs> Disney, the wonderful world of Disney. Because oh, all we had was CBC. And even then it was an antenna, so it was CBC like, don't get me started. <laughs> we didn't even have a TV, a color TV, until I was like 13, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my God. It was pretty bad. But, uh, but that's okay because we had, and you know, I think it was my dad. And I think, I wonder if he would have liked Jonathan Goldstein. My grandma would have hated him. And probably not. <laughs> argued with him about it. Well, and that's the thing. You know, she might not have liked him, but she would have liked the fact that we were talking about, about the Bible. About the Bible. Talking about. For goodness sake. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. I was a little surprised that he had um, the um, Joseph story in here. Oh, Because it was yeah. all first uh, Old Commandment. Uh, old Commandment. There I go again. Old Testament. Old Testament. Except for. Until My Trouble, yeah. which is a work in pro pro progress by Joseph of N. <laughs> so, and which I actually really like that story. I think it's the strongest story. In it was Bruce very Bruce beautiful me. and very. Um, it depicted Joseph and Mary in this really interesting way, and I really like also the way angels are portrayed in all the stories. Yeah, as just kind of these normal kind of entities that happen to be around, yeah. you know? And I, I think you could bump into them picking up smoke yeah. at the market. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, well, maybe they wouldn't be picking up smoke. But, but <laughs> you know, whatever. They could have been in this novel, <laughs> <Exactly>. you know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe a package of stubby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. I liked Noah in here. I thought it was interesting and different look at Noah. I mean, it, 
No one, uh, yeah. I think yeah. if you don't know, no one builds an ark, the rest <laughs> of the world gets drowned, and no he imagines to save the, the world with his, and repopulate the world with his animals and his family. And I thought it was really interesting, like, the one son with Ham, who's, like, racked with guilt. Yes. As the water comes up, and these people are drowning, They're and banging at the door. Yeah. Oh. And I thought, you know, that's a really interesting way of looking at this, because far too often we look at Noah as this, like, you know, he was a crazy man in the woods who built an ark and turned out he was yeah. right. Yeah. How about the fact that, you know, all these people got to go with him and all the arrest did not, you well, know. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> if we're going to talk about forgiveness and in life and yes. in all of those sort of things. But the Old Testament, it's not yeah, so much no. about forgiveness. The really. Old Testament's more like, <laughs> more like, drag down, drag him out. <laughs> smoked. Yeah. <laughs> you are smoked. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I guess the thing about Jonathan Goldstein and about this book and about Wiretap and This American Life is is uh, it's about storytelling yeah. and it's about uh, and it's good storytelling. Yeah, it's about hearing stories and telling stories yeah. and and that's why it's nostalgic for you and your yeah. about your family and and why I think about Montreal because that's an old story for me. And it, so. re it reminds me of sort of the oral tradition of storytelling. Yeah. Each one's broken down into segments that could stand on their own, but also as a group. They're part Very of the Bible, basically, yeah. and you feel like you're someone's retelling it to you, which is really, really an awesome feeling yeah. really, in this modern age. So we recommend it. We loved it. It's lovely. Thank uh, you. How many pairs of glasses? <laughs> I I'm not it. wearing mine today, so <laughs> I'll give yeah. it a three and a half. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to be here. I do feel very glasses. Well. Um, yeah, I'd say three out of five. I'll give That's it a very three and a half. Very, very good.